What's up, Vinyl Community? It's your boy Chris coming at you live as always from the Man Cave. Uh, and this second installment at five at five on the fifth, uh, I've got five albums I'm going to present to you guys and a one topic kind of deal. And for this one, is my five favorites on Impulse. Yeah, my five favorites as of today. If you ask me about it next week, I might have five other favorites, but god damn it, we're talking about it today. And uh, by the time this airs for you guys, uh, I'm not positive what time I'm shooting it. By the time it airs for you guys, it's going to be October 5th. Yeah, so anyway, going to get right to it. Don't want to hold up too much of your time. I've got five favorites in mind, five favorites on Impulse Records. And then I'm going to come to you guys with several other installments about Impulse Records. But for this segment at 5 at 5 on the 5th, first of all, cheers to you guys. And God damn it, let's get to it. First of all, I'm gonna rank it at number five, even though none of these really, none of these really have an exact rating. Number five, Knights of Ballads and Blues by the great and legendary McCoy Tyner. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Original stereo pressing. Absolutely love the record. Uh, my boy Josh was standing right next to me uh, at Hunky Dory Records and uh, Raleigh. Or was it Durham? No, Durham, North Carolina. And uh, plucked it, immediately knew that that was something that I would want, turned around and just simply handed it to me, and the rest is history. I absolutely love the freaking record. Uh, couldn't be happier with it. Next up, number four. I mean, if you guys want to rank them in order, which is fine by me. Uh, Charles Mingus, The Black Saint and the Sinner Lady. Original stereo pressing. Phenomenal record. I absolutely adore it. Once again, why not do it? Got to with Impulse, don't you? So many musicians playing on the record. Absolutely great stuff. So happy to have original stereo pressing of such. I believe acoustic series, I think, acoustic sounds. I think, I think they touched this one on the, uh, the audio file reissue tip. I think. And if they did, I seem to remember it being under 35. So if that's the case, guys, what are you even still watching this video for? Log out of this shit and go grab yourself a copy before they're gone. Next up, Alice Coltrane, Journey, and Secha Dananda. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I think. If I'm not, don't brutalize me too hard. And to be honest with you, if you're pronouncing it right, you probably looked that shit up. Just be honest. That's fine. We can still be friends. Featuring the great Fairy, uh, Pharaoh Sanders. And as you guys know, I've been on a huge Pharaoh Sanders kick lately. Have been for a while. I absolutely love uh, Alice. I absolutely love Pharaoh Sanders. I absolutely love the freaking album. Just completely, just all the way around. And this, once again, original stereo press. Phenomenal album. Had it in my collection for four or five years, no doubt. Got it at a great time because I seem to remember paying under a hundred bucks for it, and uh, I doubt anybody's getting a good copy, as good a copy as what I have here for under a hundred bucks as we currently speak. But damn it, I love the record. Next up, um, by the way, for all for these, I tried an album per art. I, I tried only one artist, uh, five albums, five artists. I tried my best because Lord knows I probably could have went five John Coltrane if I wanted. I decided not to. Wanted to give you guys five albums by five artists. Uh, the Awakening, the Ahmad Jamal Trio, original stereo pressing. Uh, it took me forever to find an original copy of this album. For a long time, viewers of this channel, you no doubt remember my unboxing. Again, this is, I say no doubt, but I got four or five of you that do not miss a video. You don't miss a video. You don't miss an attempt. Uh, you don't miss an, 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 an opportunity to comment. And I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate it. I love you guys. Uh, and for all of you who have started doing that since, then I love you guys too. And for all of you who are watching me for the first time, God damn it, I love you too. But here we are. Ahmad Jamal, The Awakening. Absolutely phenomenal album. I spent up on it a little bit. I do, do not regret anything at all. And I would do it again. 
absolutely phenomenal record, uh, sampled like hell uh, in the uh, hip hop community, but that is absolutely not why I have any interest in it at all. Because all I hear about all the time is how simple, sampled it is in hip hop, and I'm aware of that. But long before I knew how frequently it was sampled in hip hop, I love this record. So uh, this one is basically the only one in uh, Jamal's uh, basically extensive uh, discography that you're going to really have to pay uh, any money for, and it can get expensive. So uh, acoustic series, acoustic sale, whatever. Come on, reissue this bitch. Seriously, stop playing. Stop playing. So many people need this record. They need it in their lives. Just stop playing. Drop them a 30 the $40 reissue. And then finally, uh, I, I'd love to be that super popular guy, uh, that super, excuse me, not popular guy, that super, uh, that super uh, rare type guy, that super edgy guy that comes out and goes against this record and tells you, well, it's only like his third or fourth best, but let's stop bullshitting. It's his best on the label, arguably his best period. It's the record that got me into jazz. Uh, I have it to thank for my expansive and massive jazz collection uh, that you guys have seen me talk about in these videos. And uh, quite simply put, without further ado, it's John Coltrane's Love Supreme. And this is my first mono pressing. Splat Owl, Gatefold is just flawless, it's beautiful. Uh, my copy's got a couple little dents, a couple little dings, but damn it, I'm happy as hell with it. And I'm even happier than I got it when I did because ever since I did, the prices have really been going through the roof, uh, splat out again. But uh, it's that, it's that, I mean, it's Coltrane, Tyner, Garrison, Jones, and guys, it is, uh, I'm not even religious and it's a religious experience. Does that make any sense? It is a phenomenal record. Every time I hear it, I feel like I'm hearing it for the first time. I don't even know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. Every time I hear that record, I feel like I'm hearing it for the first time. It's, it, it has the same amount of impact for me every time. And those are, as of today, and probably as of the time that you guys see this video in October, my favorite uh, John Coltrane record, um, well, my favorite uh, John Coltrane record on Impulse. And I'm comfortable with saying that those are probably good. Yeah, my five favorite uh, Impulse uh, recordings. And that might change. One or two might move around here or there. One or two might move up the rank, but I can't see anything bumping Love Supreme from the top. So you're going to see other lists with Impulse. Uh, maybe next time I'll give you guys, you know, five underappreciated Impulse titles, but for today, Science Still Delivered, my five favorite Impulse records releases. So, until next time, until next video, keep dropping the new guys.